In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a toolpath for a V-carve from an image that we've already, a design we've already created. The first thing I'm going to do, I've already got my vectors for my design, but I'm going to draw a box around it, and I'll tell you why later. I'll explain it, it'll make more sense. We'll draw just a simple box and apply. I'm going to center that box. Okay, so now we have an image and a box, all in vectors. Now we need to switch to the toolpaths tab. So over here on the left side, if you click this button, it will close the design tab and open up the toolpaths tab. Just to do a simple carving, um, we all we need to do is a V carve. So that's this one right here. You can click on V-Carve. It's not going to know what we want it to do until we select something. So first, I'm going to do, do it twice and show you two different ways to do it. First, just select the image. So the box is not selected, the image is selected. Now, a V-Carve is, is where a V-Bit goes in and it carves out the details around this image. And if it's something small, if it's just text or something, usually you can just use the V-carve bit. Um, however, if it's a little bit bigger and you're going to have a lot of flat area in between, you, first of all, you should set a flat depth. Tell it how deep you want it to go before it stops. Otherwise, it'll just keep going as deep as it needs to to make that, that image. So I'm going to say go an eighth of an inch deep. That's my flat depth. And there's going to be a lot of flat area, and for a V-bit with a really sharp tip, it's going to take a long time for it to carve out all that flat area. So instead, we'll go in first with a flat area clearance tool. So select that box, and we need to select a tool. Um, probably the best one for this size is just to use a quarter inch end mill bit. So I'll select the quarter inch end mill, and click OK. So that's going to go in with a quarter inch end mill and it's going to carve out all the flat area and then later it's going to come in with a V-bit and, and carve the detail. Alright, this area right here you shouldn't have to worry about most of the time. And we can go ahead and click calculate and it will show us what this is going to look like. So it's generated the tool paths you can see the blue lines are where the tool is cutting. The red lines are where it just it picks up and it moves to a different spot. And our toolpaths are selected, so I will click on pre Preview All Toolpaths. And there it is. It's carved our image for us. If we flip it around, we can see what it's going to look like on our piece. Now this just carved out the image. Let's say I didn't want to carve the image, but I wanted the image to pop out and everything to be carved around the image. That's, that's a little bit different. So I'll reset the preview. I'll close out of here and go back to my design tab out of the 3D view. All right, this time I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to select the box and the image. Now a V-carve, all it does is it reads, it finds two lines and it carves between those two lines. For the image, it just found the first two lines coming from the outside and it carved between them. If we select the box, then the first two lines become the box and the outside of the image. Now it's going to carve that area and it's going to leave our image raised up out of the wood. So if I click V carve, I'll do the exact same thing. 0.125 for our flat depth, that's an eighth of an inch. It's a quarter inch end mill with a 90 degree V-bit. Click Calculate. And I can't click Preview All Tool Pass or it will do the last one and this one. So I'll just select first the flat area clearance. That's what it'll look like with the quarter inch end mill. Then it's going to do the V-carve and there it is so that the image pops out, it's carved around it instead of carving the image itself. So there's two ways to do it, depending on what, what kind of look you want.